Okay, this is the deal. All leaders, our preachers, pastors, teachers, evangelists, prophets, bishop, elder, um, intercessors, even the dancers, even the singers, whatever leadership role that you may play in the church, we have to learn to get out of sin. And I'm saying that um, from my heart, I'm not saying it to judge or to bash anyone, but it's truly because we need to get out of sin. There's no way that we are in the pulpit. There's no way we're dancing and singing before people and, you know, trying to speak the word and we are in deep sin. We as Christians, as disciples of Christ, we know better. We know what the word says. We sitting up there teaching and preaching it, you know, almost every Sunday and we're still in sin. That, that don't add up. The Lord said, if my people who are called by my name, will humble themselves, pray and seek my face, turn turn from your wicked ways, then I can So once you turn from your wicked ways, God can he, he can hear from heaven, he can forgive you, and he can heal the land. But we must turn. It's, I, I know that, you know, people can be in sin for years and years and years. And, you know, you do your little stage of your battling, your, you know, your backwards and forth and all that and all that. But it comes a time and a place where you have to say, look, I'm done. Like, this is it. I'm not going to do this no more. But it's all up to you. You cannot be in church. You cannot be a Christian. You cannot be a Christian Christ. Christ is the root word of Christian. You can't do that and continue to be in sin. How can we bring other people in church? How can we say um, what God has done for us and how good God is when the people on the outside looking at us, like, they still doing what we're doing. So why would I even come to church? It don't add up. Now, the Bible says, love not the world, neither the things of the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. If all that is in the world, love, lust of the flesh, lust of the eye, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it is of the world. So, we have to learn how to separate ourselves. We call in ourselves all these names, all these titles, and we can't even live right. Now, I know there's a time where, you know, we all fall short you know we all die daily to our flesh but the point is we have to acknowledge the sin that we're in we're sitting here trying to hide it trying to you know have these secret sins but you do have people who have the spirit of discernment and can see clearly through you so and when that sister or brother come to you and try to help you and tell you you know i see you come on now what you in do if you need any help let me know i can pray with you i can do whatever it is to help you and then you want to get offended but it's not to make you feel any type of way it's just that as brothers and sisters we are brothers and sisters in christ i'm trying to help you i know that you're in what you're in you know maybe i even been there before so let me tell you my story let me tell you how i got out of sin or whatever the case may be we have to sit there and acknowledge go to god and acknowledge these sins don't sugarcoat it don't say you know beat around the bush say what it is if it's homosexuality say that if it's fornication say that if it's slothfulness say that if it's greed say that say what it is if it's just lust sexual perversion say that i mean it's 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 not that hard if it's something that you truly want to do. And if you know that you know for a fact that God has called you to the ministry, he has called you to do the work, called you to do kingdom work, you got to come on out of sin because you cannot do kingdom work if you are in sin trying to get somebody else out of sin and you still in sin. That's not going to work. So I, I, I'm just, it just puzzles me. It puzzles me. It really truly puzzles me how people do those things. And you know, um, you, God was God will use you. He will He will still use you. He will use you for for His people, but you don't want to be that person, be that castaway when you done preaching, done teaching, done you know dancing, singing. You're done with everything. You have set all these people free, and you still go back home, and you still in bondage, and you still not in peace. You can't even sleep at night because of the stuff that you're in. You don't want to be like that because that's that's not of God. That's not how. You want to live your life. You don't want to live that life, living a fake life, you know? So I, I didn't say this to be, you know, hard or rough or judging or, you know, to condemn nobody, nothing like that. I just want to see my brothers and sisters in Christ who are in ministry, who are doing the work of God to come out of sin. That's it. Yes, we all Yes, we all sin and fall short of his glory sometimes. We die daily to our flesh. But those sins that y'all know, that's like 
scenes that you 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 just know that's wrong and that you know that you don't supposed to be doing like you just deep 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 in sin you gotta come on you gotta come on up out of it you have to you have to lord you have to so i, I my prayer is that you know that we all get it together, that we all get it right, that we acknowledge our sins, that we don't be afraid to go to God, that we truly go to God, not just asking for finances and asking for, you know, materialistic things, but go to him and ask him to clean you up and make you over, to make you new, creating you a clean heart so he can renew a right spirit in you. That he take all this stuff that is not of him out of you because it's not it's not an attribute of him. It's just the attribute of Satan and it's, it's not of God. So that's that's my thing, that's my prayer and I'm praying with you and for you that I'm praying with you and for you that you truly get out of sin. Um and and when you get out, not just, just not just being saved, but get truly delivered from this stuff, like for real delivered. And when you get delivered, don't forget about other people to go back and tell people your story. Go back and help those people who are once struggling in the sin that you're in. Church people and leaders, we have to get it right because the people are coming. The people are finna come to church and they going they really need God. They really need healings. They really they really need God and they've been looking for God. And they're gonna come in and we ain't right. So we have to get right in order for them to come in. So they can see what it is that God, how good God really is, to see how good and how powerful the blood of Jesus Christ is. We have to show them, we have to be that example for them. So leaders, we have to get it right. We it's a must that we get it right.